Oh, hang on. I hear something outside base camp. What's going on out here? It's Betty White, Sean and Jill. All right. And the sun's out. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. So yeah, hey guys, coming to you from base camp. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below if you need some mobile unlimited internet. It is a nice, sunny, beautiful day in Illinois. I got the grass cut out here. Uh, you'll see the hot tub has been moved. More on that later. And like I said, Sean and Jill will come over and Betty White to play some arcades and break some high scores. So I love the company. I appreciate them coming out. And then next I'll probably go to the shop once I get everything cleaned up here. But uh, just gonna kind of have a nice day here at base camp. Yeah. Well, we just got back from eating some uh, barbecue. So Sean's over there. I'll show you. We, we got the whole group here today. Sean, Sean's playing Road Blasters. Jill's playing some Miss Pac-Man. And we got TJ playing some bowling there. And Kyle's doing the 18-wheeler uh, game over there. So getting, how, and okay, we got Jack right here. Where's Tara? She's probably in the Mickey room. Oh, I haven't showed you that yet. Hang on. Tara says, what the heck, man? What is up with all the people and all the noises? And Jax just fell. Why did you fall? Okay, I'm sorry for all the noise, Tara. It'll only last a little bit here. But yeah, we're gonna get some game on here for a little bit and then I'll show you this other machine right there later. Okay. We're sitting here at the Nomadic Fanatic house and we're enjoying some games with Nomadic Fanatic. What do you, what do you think about this place? He's a... Uh... Pretty nerdy. You see this Mickey room yet? Oh, have we seen the Mickey room? We have all seen the Mickey room. What do you think about this room? <laughs> Nomadic Fanatic? Uh, I like it. It keeps me busy in the rain. Yeah. Jill? How are you? Good. Hey, Kyle. Just for the record, he lives here. He's an Illinois resident. No, I don't. I don't have a bed in here. Oh my, it's Nomadic Fanatic. Oh my God. Oh my God. He lives in the yard like a vagrant. <laughs> and there's Jax. We were uh, sitting in there and uh, looked at, somebody looked at the uh, radar coming in. It's like, oh, that's right. Eric's base camp gets a lot more rain than the shot. Like literally, it's different weather here than at the shop. And Kyle and uh, TJ brought their bikes. They had to ride back to the shop. That's where they left their car. So everybody just kind of split and left me here in the uh, Illinois rain. Lovely, right? Eh, I'm used to it. It ain't so bad. Actually, my work has paid off with the Trent. It's working really well lately. It might still gather a little bit of water there, but bringing it here and uh, Who's I talking with? Uh, Jason was also telling me how we need to go around the back of the house later to fix it on the other side to go back towards the front, the, the grade here. So talked about grading. Robert's on his way. He's going to be here probably tomorrow. He's going to park right in front and plug into 30 amp. Uh, I am just going to stay inside and basically try to uh, avoid drowning here at base camp. But I want to show you something inside the house, something I'm really excited about. There she is, guys. The new addition to base camp, a jukebox. Yeah, <laughs> she looks pretty, huh? She's got some issues, but let me show you a little more about this. I think everybody is familiar with these jukeboxes you would see in, in, in old bars and cafes and stuff, especially the older ones. This one, as you can see, is uh, for CDs. This is the Row AMI 100 CD, or CD100C, I think is what you call it. And as you can see, here's all the CD, um, the little cover arts for all of them. And you would select the track, like, or 03 is the disc, and then whatever track you want, 05, and you type 0305 in there. This one right now is set to free play. Um, it's in really good condition. Like I said, these CDs usually don't spin, and all the lights down there work really well. But, and it actually does work good. I'm going to show you how well it plays here in just a second. Also, I want you to see how big it is in here. It is a neat piece for the arcade. It totally fits everything else going on here at base camp. However, the owners uh, who have had this for about nine years have just given up on it. They just, it's got some problems and they didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, they don't know the history before they had it either, but they did provide me all the original paperwork from 1992, volume one and two. 
of the Laser Star 2 unit. And look at this, guys. A hundred extra, what do you call these? The uh, cards that, are, that have the cutouts and everything for, for new CDs and all the artists. And so you can type it or maybe put it through a laser printer. It's on that heavy card stock, but I think it'll work. So you got all the important information. However, again, as I hinted at, uh, the previous owners just kind of gave up. One of the things is that when you push this, and these are supposed to fold over, then you're gonna see a hundred different CD options. Well, when we do it, okay, you see that? O only one side moves. This side's also supposed to do that. And um, unfortunately, as I'll show you here in a minute, it looks like the gears have all grinded up because there's like this dust debris on that side. Um, also, they have removed most of the CDs, um, and I want to open this up and show you because this is pretty freaking cool, okay? Let me open this up. Luckily, it did come with all the keys, so that's kind of cool, okay? So you, you pop this guy open. This is the problem piece. I'll just unplug it and pop that guy out real quick. And while it's out here, we can take a look and see. See, there's like this fine dust on that. And when you manually turn this, it's only moving the top. That bottom gear right there is not moving. Just the top one, unfortunately. So the motor might be okay, but the gear itself, here we go, more, more gears, just, just like my uh, slides in the RV. That's okay though. I mean, this is the coolest part, okay? This thing is 29 years old and it is completely functional. Well, I guess that's the other thing. So besides the button and the gears on the title card, this will only play one CD no matter what. It will only play the CD that's in the number one slot there. So to do that, I'm gonna close this back down a little bit and we'll enter 0106. Okay, so it spins. Open this actually. And it grabs the disc, flips it around, puts it on spins it and eventually here in a second i don't know what cd that is rent it's a broadway cd but uh yeah it does play i just don't want to get copyright flagged it plays one disc <laughs> we can hit cancel on there and that should uh cancel the the selection so it's got two subwoofers down there that sound great it's got the two tweeters in the top part everything sounds really really awesome in here and I'm lucky that it works. However, there's a lot of moving parts in there. There is a lot going inside this jukebox. I understand they're built to be run 24 seven at a bar or a cafe. So it doesn't surprise me that this mechanism still works and plays CDs perfectly. However, I'm gonna keep it original and I'm gonna do something soon. Probably before I leave base camp, I am going to do a crazy modification on this while also keeping it original that makes any sense at all. But for right now, I can load one CD at a time in that one slot. And actually, don't hold me, there are some videos out there. Uh, I know TNT Amusements has some information about how to map it. I may need to remap every time I put a new CD in there to kind of initialize it, and then maybe all 100 will work. But I, like I said, I have a different plan for this for the future. So enough on my jukebox. One other thing came in the mail today, and that is this piece right here. <laughs> Believe it or not, as original as this Miss Pac-Man uh, cabinet arcade is, they made one change to it. They put the speed up chip inside this, which is not original. And although everyone I've talked to loves it, even the people that come to base camp love it, I don't. For instance, I'm gonna show you exactly how fast this goes. I know there might be some wiggling on your screen, but it's just, see how fast Miss Pac-Man goes? It's crazy fast. It's like last level fast. And it's like that all the time because they put the speed up chip in there and I don't like it. So I went on eBay and got a Miss Pac-Man 6F normal chip to throw in there instead and bring it back to normal. So I'm gonna open up the back of that and work on that little project and basically just do some interior stuff here until the rain stops. And then we'll go see the kitties. Okay, got the uh, chip installed. Let's uh, give her a try here. Uh, yeah, that's a lot slower and more manageable, and that's that's the original speed. So, <laughs> much happier with that now. Cool. And I'll save the old chip just in case I ever go back and, you know, want to change it back up. Cool. How's your dinner, Jax? How's your dinner, dinner? 
You have a stalker. Yeah, Tara's watching you. Watching you eat. And also being kind of crazy sometimes. She's flicking that tail and going like crazy. You taking care of your widow sister? Is she so crazy that you can't keep up? She's just full of craziness, huh? What does she like to do? Chase stuff? And you don't like all that action? You'd rather just take cat naps, huh? Yeah, I know. I know, huh? It's pretty crazy. Can we talk to her? Hey, Tara, Jack says you're pretty crazy. Jack says you're pretty crazy. And you you beat up on your little brother. Whack, whack, whack. And Jack says like, man, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, but you love her. But, but we love Tara. She's such a wonderful addition to our, our cat lives. Hey, Jax, you're the best, man. Just so you know, Jax, you, you are the best. Man, then why is my food bowl empty? Why is it empty, Dad? Well, because you already ate all your food, buddy. Okay. I love you guys. Pretty much my favorite time of each day is hanging out with these two. These two fluffy butts. Fuzzy butts. You're a fuzzy butt, Jax. Fuzzy butt. Terry, you're a fuzzy butt, too. Jax isn't the only fuzzy butt. What are you looking for? No, you listen to Jax, and he said we get nighttime snacks. We don't get nighttime snacks. That's a myth. That's No, it's not even true, right, Jax? T just tell her. Will you just tell her? No, you're making me look bad, man. You you're making Dad look bad. We don't we do not do the crazy... I know, there's my nice camera. I'm throwing on my freaking iPhone here. <laughs> I'm lazy! And I had a few barley pops, and I don't think I can control all this stuff here, so that's what we're doing. All right, man. That's it, guys. Jax, Tara, and I are going to close this video out and have some fun and play with some toys. I really, really had an awesome time with Sean, Jill, TJ, and Kyle. I, I, I joke a lot, but, but seriously, it was freaking awesome having them here instead of hanging out at the shop or somewhere else in East Dalton. So this was, this was really cool for me. Right, guys, and hopefully in my next video, Robin will be here and we'll get some stuff done. That's the other thing is the weather. I'm supposed to have three straight days of rain. Bear with me, guys. I'll, uh, we'll figure this out, okay? All right.